A new study is shedding more light on a problem we've known about for decades, but keeps getting worse. Among wealthy nations, the United States has the highest rate of maternal mortality. And that mortality is disproportionately high when it comes to black mothers. So Bridget is standing by now to ask a doctor about the problem and what we can do about it. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Red Mountain Weight Loss. Maternal mortality means a death during pregnancy or up to a year after delivering. Causes can be anything from excessive bleeding to infection, even depression and suicide. Proper care for expectant mothers is so important. And often access to care is a big problem, even in the United States. Joining us now is Miss Jenny Joseph. She is a renowned midwife, and you've been a guest here on News yes. 6 at 9 before. And you're also a big advocate for women's health as well as maternal health, among many other things. And this issue of maternal mortality in the United States continues to be really disappointing. It's disappointing. It's an embarrassment, frankly among the most resourced country in the entire, yeah. you know, developed world, we are worsening. Our statistics have risen since um, this year. We have increased the numbers of mothers being lost during birth or postpartum, pregnancy, birth and postpartum. The disparity is also still there. Three to four times as many black women, African-American and black women are succumbing. And then the other thing that's really worth mentioning is that it's not just those that die as if that's not bad enough, but it's those that nearly die. That number is way out of control. We can't actually really say how many people of the 4 million births per year are still not better or same after they've had a pregnancy, birth, or postpartum experience. That's wrong. It's beyond disappointing. It's shameful. What's happening to combat these issues? A lot of work going on, a lot of interest now, a lot of application of new ways of doing things, um, trainings, implicit bias trainings, um, looking at you know more safety measures, safety bundles, um, drills and trainings. Here's the thing at the end of the day, because much of this is preventable, we have to acknowledge that it's not physiological reasons that these women are being lost or suffering. It's actually due to our systemic ways of being. Racism, classism, discrimination plays in. In the case of black women, black mothers, black people um, in this situation, high level, you know, women um, of celebrities, Serena Williams, Beyonce, women of wealth, women with high education, women of positions of power, black women are still succumbing. That's how you know it's not about, well, oh, black people have a body that doesn't work or they're not able to have a pregnancy that goes to term. That is not true. That's not the case. These tropes have to be let go so we can work on solutions. And what do you see in terms of you know, women making their health plans with regard to concerns about maternal mortality rates in this country? Well, that's a really important question because, let's face it, people are scared. At this point, you know, having a baby in this country, it, you get a sense of fear comes up. Your mental health is impacted by this. And so what we know is that we need to help people find ways to get to safety. So we have in our organization, Common Sense Childbirth, we work with women to ask certain questions to find out really at the bottom line, am I safe? Mm -hmm. What are you doing about keeping me safe? May I trust and depend on you doing that for me? And is there care included in this health care that you're offering? I think it's important for people to start exercising some power, some autonomy, and checking, um, in asking these questions mm -hmm. and checking out the level of quality that they are accessing to get this care, to get to the other side. And we need to address the support that they need so that they're not left hanging, figuring it out by themselves. It's not fair. Yes, it takes us a, a higher level of proactiveness That's right. on the part of the, the providers. expected mom, the providers, the family members, mm -hmm. everyone Everybody, has to be all hands on deck. Mm -hmm. We have a crisis. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jenny, thank you for this information. And we can get more information with Common Sense. CommonSenseChildbirth.org. And just a quick shout out, Black Maternal Mental Health Week is coming up, yes. July 19th to 25th. And lots of information on the internet about black maternal health, which is another big issue that yes. we don't deal with. And so, yes, please do some research, find us online, and thank you so much for the opportunity yes. to talk about this very important problem. There's support out there. Thank you thank so you. much. And I'll send it over to you, Julie. All right, Bridget, thank you.